Okay, so today uh, we have an issue with mold building up around the outside of a grill. So we're just gonna take this down and see what we see. Oh yeah, look at that. You see all that little like mildewy mold? So let me explain what's happening. When this was installed, this is a, a sheet metal box that sits on top of the, the sheet rock and there's no seal in between the metal box and the sheetrock. So what happens is the hot attic air rolls in between the metal box and out these little cracks all around. And when that hot, humid air meets the cool air out of the air conditioner, it condenses and creates a high moisture area. Uh, what's actually causing this is supply duct leaks in the attic causing a negative pressure in the house. So we have air going out into the attic and the return is sealed really well going back to the unit. So now we have air going out into the attic, creating a negative pressure in the house because the unit is sucking air from the house, distributing a little bit into the attic and then now you get a negative pressure. So where does it get the air from? It pulls it from the doors outside, the windows, the wall sockets, light fixtures, and cans that are mounted on the ceiling. And this is the point that's most affected by that because it's the cold air coming from the air conditioner condensing that hot, humid air coming from the attic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually clean this out a little bit and we're gonna install some caulking. Okay, so we've covered our the bed and the floors, made sure that we're not gonna get this junk like flying everywhere, just little housekeeping issues. So we're gonna take a knife, it can be any kind of knife really. Um, I just happen to have this in my pocket. Okay, so what I like to use is just some acrylic based caulking. I don't do the silicone, just the interior like painter's caulking is really what you wanna get. Fill this in really good. You need to make sure this is pretty clean, otherwise it's not gonna stick to it. You're literally trying to make this air tight. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to paint over the moldy areas with some kills. Kills is, is an encapsulant, and what that does is it just seals it all in so it can't grow anymore. Okay, so I've painted the whole box with kills, and I cleaned off the duct. Those black spots are not mold, that's just where paint has come off. So this is nice and clean, the collar's painted, all the holes are sealed. That's just where insulation is kind of coming apart a little bit, but it's not going to affect anything. The box is completely sealed against the drywall. That's just a gap where the insulation doesn't meet the box all the way. So this thing is in good shape. It's not gonna have mold anymore. All right, that's it, we're all done.